Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, we're talking about DJI again today. Um, love them or hate them, they're here and they're here to stay. And they're doing some pretty good stuff. But I do recognize the fact that analog is still very prominent, especially for racing and just hanging with the homies. Gotta have analog. But if you have DJI, you know that it doesn't receive analog. But there's a couple companies out there and I've I've showed before uh, adding a rapid fire module onto the side of my goggles. I really did not like that solution. That module, that adapter I had was pretty uh, less than desirable. Like it was good in a pinch, but it was not a long term solution. I know they've made changes to that one that I showed before, but it's still it's a real half baked idea. The module just kind of hangs on there on hopes and dreams, and it's just it's not a good solution. Fortunately, iFlight did make a uh, an adapter that goes onto the front of your goggles and allows you to mount a rapid fire inside your uh, your DJI goggles. Now, this is a pretty decent looking solution, <clears throat> but as you can see, again, we're still dealing with a bunch of bulk, and you've got to tear your goggles apart and modify them. Now, there are some. Uh, non-destructive uh, 3D printable faceplate, things like that. I'll put a, a picture of one up here that I've tried. Uh, they work really well. There's a, they're kind of involved. There's a lot of work that goes into making them work right. But then again, it's still just this big dingleberry of a thing hanging off the front of your goggles, which I still don't like that. I like this idea, but this is still just far too bulky. Um, but... I found a much better and probably the best, the cleanest solution I have ever seen for mounting a analog receiver on your goggles. And it is this guy here. Look at this. This is just, this is amazing. Look how minimal it is. Look how, how well designed this thing is. This is the best solution I have found so far. So a little background on this. This was developed by a guy named Steve Evans. He contacted me on one of my other uh, analog DJI mod videos that I put on YouTube. And he said, hey, I am developing a much better design. And I'm going to sell it on eBay. Why don't you take a look at it? So I went over and I, I looked at all his, his setup, his design. And I thought, oh my God, this is, this is it. This is the way to do analog with DJI. And he's selling these on eBay. Now, when, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Go go check that out. Now, initially, you might be there might be some sticker shock. It's kind of expensive. And there's a reason why it's expensive. A, it's a great design. The guy did a wonderful job designing this thing. It is, it is awesome. This is as good as it's going to get, I think, as far as this type of mod goes. And B, this is not just your standard run-of-the-mill 3D printing like this stuff is. No, this is a SLS nylon. So this is printed uh, from a separate company. It's centered layer something. I'll put what it, what it means up there, but it's made of nylon. Layer lines are not a thing. Look at the texture. Look at how clean this thing is. I mean, it looks like it's a molded part. That is how awesome of a job the company he used to uh, print these things or manufacture. I'm going to call it manufacturers. It's not really printing manufacture. These did these are, this is, this is awesome. This is the way to do it. It's a bit on the pricey side, but as far as I'm concerned, it, it blows this thing out of the water. This thing is trash compared to this. Yes, this does work. This does it better. It keeps the bulk down. And then look at, look at the difference. Get the light right on there. Look at that. Um, so anyways, as far as the installation goes, I'm not really going to rehash that. It is a lot of the same. Bardwell did an awesome video on taking these things apart. Uh, iFlight has an awesome video on taking it apart and putting this on. Yes, you do need to modify your goggles. And I hear, oh, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to void my warranty. Who cares? You're If you can solder up a quad... You're not going to void your warranty. Companies this big, if they do have RMA cases, and I'm not saying this is what they're going to do, but in my experience, big companies, especially like DJI, you do an RMA case, you send it back. As soon as they receive it, they ship you a refurb unit. They don't take these apart and fix them. 
They may fix them later, but they don't, they, it's, it's for customer service reasons. They're not going to have this extended turnaround time while they repair your goggles. No, as soon as these things hit their dock, they open the box. Yep. It's in there. Boom. They mail you a new one. That that's my thoughts on what's going to happen here. And plus, how are you going to avoid your warranty? How, how are you going to avoid it? Oh, let's say something does go wrong. Take all the stuff out. Put a drop of glue back on a screw. You're good to go. It's not like they're going to tear it apart and find it that that tamper seal was taken off. And it's not a tamper seal. It's just a drop of glue. You put anything in there. That, that's that's my thoughts on the right to repair stuff. I, I I know that may not apply exactly here, but dude, don't don't be afraid. Just do what you would normally do. Yes, they're expensive, but yeah, I, I, I would not let that slow me down. Would not let that stop me. Uh, a couple things that are, that are a little bit different about this um, is he does include a couple SMA nuts, and that holds the rapid fire nice and tight to the front of the goggles, so it looks like you know a nice finished project product. It's not dangling around in there since there really is no support on either one of these for the module. It just kind of floats around in there, but this one's tied down nice and tight because of that nut. And it, he doesn't include the regulator. I think he, I think the, the 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 thought process is that you already have this and you hate how big it is, get this, and it's just a quick drop-in replacement. Um, <clears throat> I'll cover some highlights of when I was installing these things that I found that were a little different. Um, as far as the regulator goes, he used a Maytech uh, Beck. It's one of these guys here. I'll put a link in the description. This is a much better Beck than the one that iFlight includes. Uh, very low noise, very clean back and he even has like a little 3d printed mount that he developed for uh screwing that back onto the power board in here but all in all this is this is definitely the way to do it all right so this is kind of like my build notes little things that i found uh, worth noting during the process as you can see here wiring up this matech back it, it's a it's a much better back than the one that comes from iflight um, but if you already had the iFlight one in there, I don't think I would change unless you're having video noise issues. But uh, Steve Evans has the STL for this Beck. Really good design. He also designed it to hold a capacitor, which is kind of specific to whatever cap he used. I found it wasn't really necessary to run a cap. Uh, there was no video noise in my setup at all when I was done. Now, as far as connecting the Beck and the, the control board to the rapid fire, I just had this old JST 1.25 three pin connector from some run cam thing that I had. I don't even know what it really came from, but it, it's a male and a female end. And I decided to use this. It's nice silicone wire. That way I have a way to disconnect the rapid fire from the front of the goggles in case I need to take it somewhere else to flash firmware to it or something like that. Um, you can use whatever you want or you can use nothing if you choose and just kind of have to deal with uh, working with the rapid fire while it's attached to the goggles but this is just what i use so if you haven't found or if you don't have something like this laying around i'll put a link to some jst connectors from amazon down in the video description go ahead and check those out and uh, that would be a, a perfectly useful connection so something a little different about this kit is you're going to want to remove this little black ring off your rapid fire you want to fit the SMA nut down inside the corner of the faceplate and just kind of get an idea of where it's going to need to be oriented before you screw it down. When screw it down onto your rapid fire module, get it oriented properly, and then just insert it into the faceplate, making sure it sits down nice and flush. Now stick your other SMA nut on there, but don't tighten it down all the way. Leave it really loose because you're going to need to try to to finagle that module in between or underneath the plastic of the DJI goggle. And once you get under there, just go ahead and tighten it down, kind of finger tight, make sure everything is lined up properly because there is a little bit of wiggle room and then tighten it down the rest of the way. Don't crank down too hard on it because you don't want to damage the connector or crack the faceplate. And then Put your two screws back in the front and you're good to go.
So as you can see, this is definitely the way to do this. This is the best solution I have found so far. If you want analog and digital and you don't want the bulk, you still want to fit your goggles inside the little sack that comes with it, this is the way to do it. All right, folks, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking this out. Hey, head over to that uh, eBay link. Check out Steve Evans' faceplate. Give him some love. Buy one. You you won't regret it. It is awesome. And uh, I, even pictures. Pictures don't do it words. Like, you've got to see this in person. It is it is something else. It is next level. All right. Uh, like, subscribe. Check out my Etsy store down there in the video description if you want to get yourself some uh, some merch, some grips. Uh, I got some stickers. Uh, I don't know if I have them on there on Etsy yet, but I've been sending them out here and there for people who order grips. All right, guys. And uh, check out Patreon. That would greatly help me out. And I shall see you all later. Keep on flying. Analog, digital, doesn't matter. Just get out and fly. Stay safe.